Hello Spartans, Helljumpers, and Doodlebugs. I'm back again with another Halo Legendary crate for you, and this month's theme is the Battle for Earth. For those of you who don't know what the Halo Legendary crate is, it's a month, a bi-monthly subscription service from, ha from Loot Crate that costs roughly between $40 to $60 and includes exclusive merch from the Halo universe. Anyways, I'll be leaving links and info down to the bottom bar below, and you can go check it out on your own. And feel free to subscribe if it interests you at all. Anyways, we're gonna crack into this, and we'll see what we got. Okay, so here's our first sneak peek inside the box, and basically all I can see is literally another file drop, and what looks like possibly an ODST up here, but we won't know until we've actually got everything emptied out of here. So yeah, let's look at the contents. Starting off with the file. Everything is in mint condition, which I'm actually happy about. For those of you who remember what happened in my last video the condition of the crate, it was an absolute total mess. But, as always, Spartan long number, eyes only, top secret, UNSC sealed. And inside is classification only, eyes only. Office of Naval Intelligence, Confidential, and it is what looks like information regarding I don't know what, but I'll give this a read through and I'll let you guys know in the bottom below what this is exactly, because if I were to read it on here, it would take a very long time. But it looks like we got quite the package this time around, with several sheets and information. So this should be very interesting to read later on and see what exactly happened on Reach. Reach? Reach Earth. Earth. And we also have a little postcard included in this one with New Mombasa Recon. Cool. So. That is interesting for sure, and I will be giving a little read through and information on what that was exactly. But yeah, so that's our first bit of inform our first item, sorry, from this crate. And yeah. Okay, continuing on. Next item in the box looks like the Halo Legendary Crate one year subscription bonus pin. So yeah, remember in the last crate how we were a little confused as to whether or not the uh, Apollo pin was in fact the one year subscription pin? Well I guess this answer is that. For those of us who subscribed for a full one year subscription, we were given an extra bonus pin for for subscribing, and so we get this, which is the legendary symbol from uh, the Halo games. So that is very neat. Again, it's a nice um, metal pin, so that'll be going on my lanyard with the other one. And definitely a nice little touch. Looking forward to showing off my flare. And then moving on in the crate, the next couple items I am seeing are, well, let's take a look at them. First we have some hatches, it looks like, and one is an ODST, and the other one I don't know, so let's crack into this and see what this is exactly. Okay, so yeah, these are just some Velcro patches. I'm guessing to stick on our um, on our UNSC bag we got in the last crate. I don't know. It's 
kind of hard to say, but we have an ODST patch and this little guy, and I can't remember what he's called, but he's the AI of New Mombasa. And depending on which way you hold him, he looks happy or angry. So, yeah, that's those two things we got. And the next couple items excite me. So, first we're going to take a look at these. Loot Crate Exclusive Pants. Now this was something that we knew we were going to get because we got an email asking for our size and so that for me was kind of like a dead giveaway that okay yeah we're getting some pants but this is really neat it's ODST feet first into hell on the pant here and they're basically just really lazy comfy loungers which I have had an addiction to these sorts of pants recently so those will be a nice little addition into my collection, and I get to wear more swag to, well, I wouldn't really say to work, but definitely a nice little thing. So, that would be cool. Okay, next item. Looks like we got a shirt in this one too, which makes me happy, as always. Shirts are welcome, clothing's welcome. So this one is a shirt to go with our pants. Orbital Drop Shop Trooper, feet first into hell, and it's a little drop pod. Nice, simple black. Halo Loot Crate exclusive, and it is extra small, which is my size. So, yay! I have a new sleep suit, and that makes me happy. Digging further into the box, we have this tube. I have no clue what this is, but we'll see in a moment. Yeah, if I can get it out. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, and we're back. So this, let's see what this is. It looks like we got a poster this time around. And it is, ooh, instead of a booklet this time around, we got a little poster. And it is Halo Legendary Crate, and features our little ODSTs on the front. It even says Halo Legendary Crate in the corner. Flip it over on the back, and it's a little promo for Halo Wars 2 and our drops that we got this time around. So that's very, very neat. And I can start decorating my wall with some Halo at last. So, yeah, those patches are Halo Morale patches. Good to know at last. And then Hell Pants, ODST shirts, and so on. Cool. Ooh, it looks like we have a another pin in here and some people got a gold variant of it that is very interesting so let's see which one I got and yeah so that's what that is so that's the pin and no I did not get the gold variant but that is still cool I now have two pins to stick on my lanyard and this one is the stick it pin. So nice. And then the last couple of items are our buck figure, naturally, which was teased online. And it says Halo Icons ODST Buck Figure. Want to do something manly and impulsive? Of course you do. So unleash ODST Gunnery Sergeant Edward Buck and put some boots on the ground for the Battle for Earth. And remember, Buck plays well with others. Collect and connect to the other Halo Icon figures. So, yeah, that's this. So I'm gonna open that up, put some photos here, right now, for you guys to look at. And... Yeah. Last item is a requisition pack, of course. And I'm not gonna turn that around, because that would go away the code. And... 
now we can finally take a look at our box, which, as I'd assumed initially, is in fact an ODST, so that is very cool. So, yeah. Links will be in the bottom bar below, and if you like this, definitely let me know. Again, um, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you want to see any more of these in the future, if there's any uh, subscription boxes you think I should look into. Um, right now, this is really the only one that has my interest, but if you think there's something I should try, definitely let me know. Anyways, that is all for today, and I will talk to you guys later. This is Ishita signing off.